Hello everybody, welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It's been a little while. I was out sick, so I apologize for that, but today is a special day because not only are you going to get this nine hole, maybe 10 or 11 because I don't do well with numbers, but a nine hole preview at the very least of Petra, then you get our final course reveal for 2022. And there's still so much to talk about. The Club Pass season two, uh, which also means we're probably close to doing a double XP weekend for the current season uh, and the club pass on Golden Tee PGA Tour game. So make sure you're staying tuned to GoldenTee.com and at Golden Tee on social media. Um, let me switch over here to Petra so I can start walking and talking at the same time. This is hole one. Nice little start here to Petra. And although this is one of the bit more easier tee boxes with the tee box system that we've had in place for a couple of years and all the work that come on first chip back and short just like the rest of my chips but we uh with these tee boxes and the mayor uh the many areas that you can possibly have a box in for pga tour uh, and 2022 courses Lots of different setups, and hopefully every single time you play, whether you're a new player, a casual player, or one of the top guys, you will see different looks, and there will be variety all the time. But this is a fun one, hole two. You've got a tee box here that is up top and elevated. You have a tee box down there in the dark green area. You've got ones over to the left-hand side, if you look at the bottom left screen. Um, and so just with these tee boxes alone, and not even including anything for, uh, you know, different seasons and the different uh, the multitude of different releases we will have of new tees and pins throughout the year, you're already going to start with new things coming uh, your way and different looks every single time. Now, Petra is a fun course. It is out uh, based in Jordan, actually specifically Wadi uh, Messiah, which I'm definitely absolutely pronouncing that wrong because I'm terrible with pronunciations. But this course, you know, it has a lot of temples, tombs, a lot going for it. Uh, and don't worry, even if you don't see it now, uh, in this preview, there's definitely some uh, interesting holes that come up on the back half that some are drivable, some are fringe drivable. Some of them will be very uh, easy and wide open, like, hey, this is very clearly a drivable par four. I'm sorry, the green was sloping left. Where was my left in for the double eagle? But as I always say, as long as you're putting in for eagle on drivable par fours and regular par fives, that's all that matters. But when you're that close, first preview video back in a few days, man, that was, uh, I was hoping that was gonna drop. Now, this is a unique look here for hole number five, this drivable par four. Usually this tee box, uh, tee box starts farther back um, but, again, that speaks to the different types of setups that you will see and not knowing when you're going to see them. So, uh, the Neon Club Set, probably not the best club set to use here, very clearly. Um, you want low lofted clubs. The one hybrid that we saw Mr. Andy Haas use over the weekend at the uh, second Power uh, National Golden Tee Tour event in his way to victory uh, is probably going to be a club choice specifically for this hole as well as our old friend, the Zero Hybrid. And then a lot of you out there using those low lofted drivers uh, across the board now, so they will fit in very well with, uh, with the Petra course for the 2022 release. Now this could go in, that'd be great. Shotties? Ah, oh, too close for shotties apparently. Now, what I can't tell you off the bat right now is uh, what the scoring is going to look like on this course because it's just too early to tell. You got a hole like number seven here, a long par five. We've got a 10, an hour, uh, 10 mile an hour wind in our face. We've got a little shortcut over there that may or may not work. Do you want to do a massive high T driver A1 and try to get there in three and just take your birdie be happy with it? Uh, I know a lot of us in the beginning are going to try little shortcuts and things like this 
which is why I'm going here. I've only done this one other time successfully, so we'll see how that actually goes. This is stone that we're hitting off of, and it is 328 to the green. Not exactly sure what I hit there. I probably actually, uh, that's okay. Let's, uh, let's see. First, uh, first preview video back, and I, I'm getting, I'm getting cheated already. That's okay though. We will. Uh, I do want to actually see uh, what happened there, but. Uh, all right. So the nice thing is that even though it did not come out clean from the uh, shortcut there, we are still on rock, which means it's going to play pretty well. No. Uh, no big rocks or anything in the way. Should have been putting in for birdie there at the very least. But again, if most of you guys know this by now, I am not the best player in the world. Never will be. Never have been. I'm good enough. And that is why I think a lot of you guys enjoy my videos because you know there's times where I'm going to play really well. And there's other times where I'm going to just play pretty atrociously. But to me... In the 26 years I've been playing this game as I, since I was a kid, like that's what I've always enjoyed is that you're going to have your good games, you're going to have your bad games. Uh, you see that even at a national tournament where, you know, Paul Luna, reigning world champion, gets knocked out uh, towards the end of the event, doesn't win. Not every great player is going to be great all the time. Uh, at least that's what I tell myself to make myself feel better about my terrible play. So 10 under after nine, not exactly what we're looking for at the start here, but again, I said I hate numbers and that is why we're gonna give you a little bit of an extra preview here. Shorter look here on hole number 10. I can't spoil all the shortcuts, but I also am already playing terribly. So um, this one up here, just going to use that 12 mile hour wind to my advantage. Oh, I needed I needed a bite there or almost no spin. And as we get closer, we're a little over uh, or under two weeks away from the launch on uh, Golden Tee PJ Tour cabinets. And then at the end of the month, updates start shipping for Golden Tee Live cabinets. You guys will get to enjoy and explore holes like number t uh, 11 here where there's a lot of rocks in your way, um, but there's also a lot of rocks that will give you some pretty fun bounces. So um, although I'm nowhere near, excuse me, driving this hole right now, um, maybe not always the case. Thank you to those rocks for giving me an assist so I can hopefully not miss this putt in for birdie. Perfect. So there is your 9, 10, 11, almost 12 hole preview of Petra, one of the time release courses in Golden Tee PGA Tour and Golden Tee Live 2022. Make sure you're staying tuned to GoldenTee.com and Golden Tee on social media for the next couple of tees videos and soon we start these live streams. All right, I was signing off, but this setup is too, too beautiful for me to not go for. Um, so, but when this doesn't go in the hole, we're cutting the video off right away, so... Enjoy that uh, 12 hole preview and nope, you guys are not going to watch me miss another chip. So until later this afternoon, we'll see you guys next time.